Hello there. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to determine the carrying cost and stockout cost associated with inventory under probabilistic models and safety stock. This question corresponds to problem 12.29 in your text. We have a certain type of chair that's delivered to a retail chain once a year. The reorder point without safety stock is 200 chairs. The carrying cost is $30 per unit per year, and the cost of stocking out is $70 per chair. In the table below, we have a series of demand probabilities during the lead time, and we're asked to determine how much safety stock should be carried. We have lead time demand ranging from zero units to 400 units in 100 unit increments, and the probability of each level of demand in this case is even at 20% across the board. The reorder point is at 200 units. At the reorder point of 200 units, if demand is 200 units as expected, then no safety stock is required. However, if the reorder point is 200 units and demand ends up being 300 units, then the company would need to carry 100 units of safety stock to avoid stocking out. Similarly, if demand ends up being 400 shares, then the company would have to carry 200 units of inventory to avoid stocking out. To determine the optimal level of safety stock, what we must do is balance carrying costs and stockout cost. So the easiest way to do this is to put together a quick table. We have four columns. The first is going to be the level of safety stock based on what we just calculated, the carrying costs associated with each level of safety stock, the stockout costs associated with each level of safety stock, and then the total cost, which is simply the sum of the carrying and stockout costs. At zero safety stock, of course, there is no carrying cost. So zero times $30 is zero. Now let's look at the stockout cost. So based on probabilities, there's a 20% chance of being 100 units short, or 10 units, which is the equivalent to 20 chairs. And there's a 20% probability of being 200 units short, which is 40 chairs, for a total of 60 chairs of potential lost revenue if the demand ends up being either 300 or 400 units. When we multiply those 60 chairs times the stockout cost of $70, that's a total of $4,200. The total cost, therefore, is zero carrying cost plus $4,200 in stock out cost for a total of $4,200. Then we look at the next level of safety stock. If the company chooses to hold 100 units, then it would have to inventory those 100 units. So 100 units times $30 is a $3,000 carrying cost. That carrying cost would, of course, happen if the company holds an extra 100 chairs, but demand only ends up being 200. If the company holds 100 extra chairs and demand ends up being 400 units, then the company would be short 100 chairs at a probability of 20%. So that's 20 times $70 is $1,400. When we add the carrying costs and the stock out cost, that equals a total of $4,400. Finally, if the company decides to hold 200 units of safety stock and demand ends up being only 200 units, it's going to incur a $6,000 carrying cost. 200 units of safety stock times $30. If demand ends up being 400 units, however, and the company had 200 units of safety stock to cover, then there would be no stock or cost. Therefore, the total cost is equal to $6,000, which is based on the carrying costs only. Therefore, in this problem, the minimum total cost happens to be $4,200 at a zero level of safety stock. If you use this approach, what you'll also notice is that at zero safety stock, there is zero carrying cost, and that 200 units of safety stock, there is zero stock of cost. So that's how you apply probabilistic models to safety stock.